Good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Guess what time it is? Fall harvest time. I always love this time of the year. It's my favorite time of the year. I'm so happy to see you're all here. I, of course, as you can see, have a whole collection of fall harvest from Dollar Tree. Now you're going to say to me, how did you get all these fall harvest items from Dollar Tree? Well, because things are getting very scary out here in Southern California again. Who knows what's going to shut down or deliveries are going to be made or what's going to happen. So we ordered this whole collection of fall harvest items from Dollar Tree itself. Can you believe it? I guess I didn't realize you could do that. And with gas being over $4 a gallon and running from Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree just seems silly. Plus, in the long run, it probably saved me money. Because when I go to Dollar Tree, I never buy what I go to buy. I always buy what I go to buy and then I buy other things and then half the time I can't even find it. And as you can see, this is a very large collection of fall harvest. Now here are the children here. Aren't they cute? The little baby has her little pacifier and she's ready to take a nap. And she's got her elbows on that pumpkin. And the other two little fairies are ready for their photo op. Then we have some fairies here. Oh my gosh, are they not cute? They're all holding their little pumpkins in their hands. The first one is orange, the middle one is orange, and the little far end one, it has the white pumpkin. Great variety of pumpkins, didn't they have? And aren't they cute? Then we have our gnomes. Are they not the cutest things you've ever seen, too? I will say one thing. Dollar Tree does get some of the cutest gnomes and fairies, don't they? For only a dollar for three. And these little gnomes have their apples, the first one, a basket of apples. Then the center one's got its sunflower, and the other one has his welcome sign. You know, he always wants to welcome us in to the fairy gardens. Three cute scarecrows. The first one has his hands out saying, so why? Oh, how much I love you all here this much. Then the center one, of course, has a beautiful sunflower. For you can enjoy and then the other sunflower other um, one had his pumpkins oh and look at all the cute little accessories with pumpkins all over and apples they will look great in the pumpkin patch are they not i can't believe how great it's going to look this year i can't wait to decorate for the fall festival it is going to be a glorious time, and especially that I got the whole collection this year. I couldn't believe I was that lucky. Usually, I never get that lucky. So, I think probably from now on, I'll probably just start ordering the whole collections out from Dollar Tree. In the long run, it's a lot quicker and easier, and I know I'm guaranteed to get the whole collection. They do. And it does cost a little more to do it that way because of shipping and handling. But like I said, at $4 a gallon, in the long run, I think it'll be cheaper. Because when you're spending that much for gas, and it's hard to get the collection. I remember one year, I tried to get a collection. And I must have went to one of the Dollar Trees about three or four times. Even though it was on my way to work, it still was a bunch of hassle. Now, let's go back and check out these trucks. Isn't this truck cute? It has his pumpkins in there. And then I have my little uh, sunflowers here and a little fence with some more pumpkins and another wheelbarrow full of pumpkins. And then it says the pumpkin patch. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? That's what I love about Dollar Tree. They always have such nice collections for us to pick up and buy. I really love them. And then we have Happy Fall. It will look great to be the entrance into the pumpkin patch, don't you think? And it's going to be my Dollar Tree pumpkin patch. I can't wait to share it with you. It's going to be so nice. I still have to put it together, as you can see. And here are the beautiful little houses. Aren't they cute? Love them. 
and I got a little barn and I can put my some pumpkins by that and that can be the backdrop for my pumpkin patch. I can't wait. And then the next one has the welcome sign. Doesn't that look cute? And it even has a sunflower on one side. Because you know how much Grandma loves her sunflowers. And this little door is as cute as can be. A cute dome, gnome door with those pumpkins. And then here is another one with sunflowers and corn. And the one next to it has acorns and sunflowers. Boy, I am so blessed that I have so many beautiful things to share with the sunflowers. Since they're one of my favorite flowers. And you know I put them in every year and I grow them from seeds. Then they had this cute little apple how fairy house and it had a cute little wagon wheel on one side of the door and a basket full of apples on the other and the sunflowers in the center and a beautiful colorful wreath on top. And of course a cute little windmill and if you look close you'll notice the windmill has some little pumpkins right next to it. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the cutest thing? I've never seen that before. Nope, Dollar Tree went all out this year and has some beautiful displays, some beautiful items. Can't wait to get out there and start putting fairy gardens together this week. I want to have my little fairy garden village all decorated up with new houses and people and get it all ready for the great grandbabies that are coming on Saturday for a great big party. I already bought them a little pool to wait in so I don't have cranky babies. I want happy babies and I'll make sure I have stocked up on chalk for they can go and mess up my sidewalks with chalk and have a good time. The best part of ch chalk, you can just wash it off. Don't my little lanterns look cute next to my little doors? I think they'll be cute just by themselves. Now what do you think? Well, as you can see, I've moved all the accessories around and the house doors and the houses around to give you lots of opportunities to see what we could do with these pieces if we wanted to do it. And like I said, I will start decorating and sharing them with you this week too. So get ready for a lot more fairy gardens coming your way and a lot more beautiful accessories coming your way. And of course I still have things out there, so we'll still use the things I already have also. Well, what do you think of my new little Dollar Tree village I'm going to be putting together this week? I thought these pieces were so cute. I don't know if you knew you could buy all this stuff online, because I think I knew you could buy the lights, I mean the things from Dollar Tree online, but I didn't know you could buy their whole collections, and I didn't know that. So from now on, because you know grandma loves her fairy gardens and she needs to keep adding to them all the time we'll probably from now on just be ordering the collections of all their uh, fairy gardens and gnome gardens just directly from Dollar Tree and get it all at once it is a little more money because of shipping and handling but like I keep saying gas is over five dollars I mean four dollars but I'm sure by the end of this coming year it will be uh, five dollars because it was at five dollars once upon a time already out here in Southern California. I almost canceled a vacation to Yellowstone because of that because I couldn't imagine paying five dollars a gallon for gas but we my sister said just go ahead and go so that's probably what I'll be doing now too. just not pay any attention to the cost of gas and just do it. You know you can't put your life on hold just because of inflation as long as you have the money to do it. So, you know, we just do the best we can. But like I said, we'll probably be starting to buy these collections because I find now I can get the whole collection all at one time. I can decorate all at one time. And I will probably use some of these pieces in the house also and make some little vignettes for the fall for harvest time. And I might even make a small little miniature uh, pumpkin patch also in the house. So I hope you enjoyed what we shared with you today and I hope you enjoyed all these cute little buildings and houses that I, we shared. I thought this was a great collection that we picked up for fall festival this year or fall harvest time. It is a really big collection and we got a lot of nice things. 
Hope you enjoyed seeing it.